Hey you guys, okay this is the last one I'm doing for tonight and it is the last topic um, that I know of. Um, I had 13 topics and I'm now on topic 13 which is Santa. Um, since Christmas just passed and Jaden's birthday is four days after Christmas, um, it's kind of, I don't know, kind of special for him um, because his birthday and Christmas are so close together. Um, I will tell you um, that I am going to separate the two, of course. Christmas will be one thing, and his birthday will be another. And the good thing is, is because they are, you know, Christmas comes first and his birthday is next, um, it kind of makes it a little bit e a little bit easier. Um, you know, I, I probably will end up, you know, when it comes time to start shopping for him for Christmas, I will end up buying him, you know, um, like his... I'll buy all his gifts in bulk, and I'll say, okay, these are going to be, these few gifts are going to be for his birthday, and this will be for Christmas. And I think I'm going to make Christmas bigger, because, you know, kids really look forward to a big Christmas, um, especially his first few Christmases, you know, like, not just few, but, like, when they're little, um, like, for me, I will always say that Christmas, for me, the more presents I had, the better it was for me. So my parents may not have bought me, like, all a bunch of expensive stuff, but they did buy me, like, little things. Like, they'd buy me stupid little cheap toys. And they'd, buy, and they'd buy me, like, 10 of them or, you know, 20 of them. And I'd have, like, a bunch of gifts everywhere. And, you know, and they'd individual, like, things that came in packs. My mom would individually wrap. Because to a kid, the more the better. It's not necessarily the quality. As you get older, it's quality. So, um, I think I want to buy me, like, a bunch of presents. And then be like, okay, these are for birthday and these are Christmas. And do it like that. Um, as for Santa, um, I am, of course, Santa, but um, I am going to teach him, especially while he's young, I do want him to have the Santa thing. I think it's a cool, you know, fun experience that every kid should experience and go through, and it's normal. You know, a lot of kids do believe in Santa. I know um, some parents don't teach their kids to believe in Santa, and there's nothing wrong with that because there really is no Santa. So, um... If you don't want to teach your kids that, that is perfectly fine. I'm not objecting to that at all, but it is something I do want for Jaden, at least for a little while. I do know, you know, once they start school, um, it kind of does end for them. Um, because, you know, like, I know for a while I knew there was no Santa, but I tried to believe in him anyway. Um, and that's fine, you know, but I think once you kind of know, once you really hear it and, you know, you hear it, from your friends and everything, it kind of just dies for you inside, and um, it's not really as exciting, you know, and it is more of a little kid thing, and nowadays, you know, um, kids are learning things younger and younger and younger, so um, I don't think this whole Santa thing is going to last that long, um, and I'm not going to push it on him, you know, I'm not going to say, oh no, there is a Santa, there is a Santa, my mom always told me, and she, you know, explained to me, if you're old enough to really ask the question, then you're old enough to deserve an answer. Now, I'm not saying, like, you know, when your four-year-old comes home and asks where babies come from, you give her the whole nine yards about it. No. You explain it to them to the level that they can understand and to the ability you think you need to stress it to. Um, you know, you don't need to go all out about it necessarily until they are old enough to understand and really what they need to know you know you tell them what they need to know for that age and that goes with a lot of things so that's what I kind of mean by when they're old enough to ask they're old enough to know um, and I'm not going to try and feed them you know BS I'm going to be honest but I'm not necessarily going to tell them everything at once because kids do need to learn things little by little and they don't need to know things so young because they still are young they're children so what I think I'm going to do with the Santa thing is, you know, of course, for the first few years, I will let him have his Santa, and he can do that how he wants, you know. I will let him build his own opinion on it. I mean, I will show him, like, oh, yeah, you know, Santa's coming, you need to go to bed, all kinds of stuff like that. But I don't want to make him feel any kind of way about something because that's how I feel about it. I'm a firm believer in letting him feel about things the way he needs to. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to let him build, like, opinions that I don't think are right, necessarily. But, you know, I, I don't know. It's kind of like I want him to have his own ideas about things. 
and I want him to have his own feelings about things, and I don't want to necessarily stress my beliefs on him so much, but of course, you know, you do follow in your parents' footsteps, like, you believe a lot about what your parents believe, because that's how you were raised, so that's what you think is right, you know, what I think is right, um, and my parents think are right, is not necessarily what the next family believes is right, and that's fine. But I do kind of want him to let him build his own opinions on some stuff. And, you know, Santa and everything like that, that's something that I want him to experience in his own way. And I know Santa is a very general thing, but kids do it in their own way. And I want him to have that. And if he wants to take it all out, then he can take it all out to the extreme. But, you know, when he starts going to school, I know he's going to come home one day, and, you know, around Christmas time and the kids start talking about it. And he's going to ask me, Mommy, is Santa real? And I will, you know, probably end up talking it over with Tyler and saying, okay, do we really need, you know, is it the time to tell him? Or do you want to give it a year or so? Or what? Um, and that's something I think we'll kind of decide on mutually. But, you know, when I, me and him think it's time to really tell him, when he asks, I will let him know, you know, no, there isn't a Santa. Um, me and Daddy are Santa. <laughs> Sorry. But um, I do want him to have that. And um, I believe that, you know, to a kid, Santa is Christmas. You know, they don't understand that it's the whole religious thing. They don't, and to be honest, it's bad, but they don't really care. They don't care at all. Christmas to them is Santa, reindeer, and presents. And it's what makes Christmas so special for them. And I think every kid should at least experience that for the first few years of their life. Um, it's a beautiful, wonderful thing. And I can't wait for his first Christmas, even though I do not want to rush his life at all because he does not need to be one yet um, at all. So, um, yeah, that's what I think I'm going to do for that. And um, hopefully we'll see how that goes. I'll see how he takes it and how he does with that. And hopefully I will still be doing videos by then, so you guys will be able to hear about how Jaden is um, doing his Christmas thing um, and everything. But that is a very long way off. That's about a year from now. So we will get more into that when it comes time. And even when he is one, he's not going to understand what Santa is or anything like that um, at all. He's He'll still be very... Um, He'll still be too young to really understand. I won't really have to start worrying about it until maybe about three, four, or five, um, when he really starts to get into the whole Santa thing. I just don't believe in like excessively pushing the whole Santa. Like I think you know around eight, nine, ten, um, y'all need to let the Santa thing go, because honestly, then, and this is just my opinion. Um, it becomes kind of embarrassing for your child to walk around and believe in an imaginary guy that probably 90% of the, well, not even just 90, probably 95% of their friends um, have been told from their parents that are fake, and, they're, and they probably get tormented for it. Like, they're probably like, oh my gosh, you know, you're crazy, Santa's not real, and they're looking like, you know, it just really confuses them. Because they don't expect their parents. See, and that's the problem with Santa runs into. When your parents, when your kids become old enough to really understand the whole, you know, what their friends are saying and what you're saying, they get confused because they don't want to believe that you're lying to them. Like when they're young, they don't believe that you're lying. They really think that's true and they really take that to heart. And their friends all do it so they all think it's real and it's great and cool. But when they're being told two different things and they're being and they're old enough to understand what a lie is and then for them to find out that your parents have been lying to you they don't look at it as oh yeah my parents are just trying to do something nice for me they look at it like you were fooling them and then they kind of feel crazy because all their friends have been telling them from the get-go that Santa's not real and they've been believing it all along and they're like nine years old that's way too much um you know at nine you, you really need to let the Tooth Fairy and Santa and the Easter Bunny go. I don't think I ever really believed in the Easter Bunny either. Um, like the other, you know, um, legend uh, creature, animal, I don't know, people. Uh, the Tooth Fairy, I did believe in the Tooth Fairy for a while. I will do the Tooth Fairy for him because I did it. I used to love the Tooth Fairy. I was so excited. Um, I will do all of those. Um, but like I said, when he asks me, and I think if he asks me about Santa first, 
I will go ahead and let him know when I let him know about Santa that um, cut your losses with the rest of them because they're all not real. Uh, Mommy is the Tooth Fairy, the Easter Bunny, Santa, Jack Frost. I'm all in. <laughs> well, I'm not really Jack Frost. That's the weather. But I never got, well, actually, no. I will actually say this. I've not heard about a lot of kids knowing about Jack Frost. But um, my parents used to do that joke with me. I mean, it really was the weather, but my parents used to kind of put that in my head that when the frost was outside, that Jack Frost came by and did that at night while I was sleeping. And I actually really thought that was cool. I really used to think there was this little guy going around putting frost on the roof. I really, I really thought it was, um, it was real. And not a lot of kids I knew did that or knew about Jack Frost. I don't think, I don't think parents really do that one, but, um, my parents sure did. And I believed it, and I believed in Santa, and I believed in the Tooth Fairy, and I think I believed in the Easter Bunny for a while. But I think I stopped believing in the Easter Bunny long before I did anything else, because to me, I don't know, maybe I thought about, maybe I got rid of them all at the same time, I don't know. To me, the Easter Bunny is, I mean, Easter is a big holiday, you know, it's because that's a really religious holiday, it's the whole point about it. The Easter Bunny, I don't, I don't really care for that as much, um, because... That's just too much. I think Easter should be more of a religious holiday instead of a time for um, candy. But, you know, the Easter egg hunts and all that's cute, you know, for the kids. And, of course, I will do that. But um, that is, of course, very long off. Um, he can't even sit up yet, so I have no worries just yet. But um, we will. there will come a time when I have to do all this and explain all of it to him. Um, I know a lot of these questions... Uh, and topics come up, and I try my best to talk about them, but I can't really give you guys a solid answer exactly. I can only tell you what I feel like I want to do, um, because he's not at the age where I can do a lot of these things. He's still very new. Um, but the moms that come up with these topics, their kids are older and kind of old enough to really experience these things. So, um, yeah. So that kind of makes me a little different. But anyway, that's how I feel about Santa. And that is the last topic I have right now for the Young Moms Unite. I will see if there's another one that I'm missing, and I will do it if I need to. And um, I will do his four-week update. So um, that's it, and I will keep doing the Young Mom Unite, the Young Moms Unite, and um, my bi-weekly updates. Um, I'm not doing weekly because um, right now nothing. Nothing really happens, you know, every week now with him. You know, when I was pregnant, things were different every week. So, oh, no. um. <laughs> but, alright, YouTube, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.